Hey guys, what's up? So it's time to upgrade my test bench computer and I've had this computer for like 10 years and it's one of those HP all-in-ones and it's a Core i3, 16 gig of RAM, 256 gigabit gigabyte uh, solid state drive and it's actually pretty fast but I was able to get a Core i5 on eBay for pretty cheap, like less than 10 bucks but so this actually is an older computer. Uh, I think it's like a first or second generation. Um, it's an LGA 1155, so it's pretty old. And I wish I could do Core i7, but you know when Core i7s were out, they didn't have the integrated uh, graphics processor um, built on the actual chip on, on the CPU. So um, yeah, kind of bummed about that. So you actually can get like an external video card, or like or it's like an internal video card on the motherboard, but it's they're hard to find ones that are compatible. Actually, the, the video cards are actually easy to find. It's the actual heat sink. It's the proprietary heat sink that's hard to find. So, I've been looking for a couple of years now. But, uh, yeah, it's still a great computer. You know, like I said, I look at... I use this computer to uh, look up specs, schematics, you know, whatever when I'm fixing things on my test bench here. So, all right, I'm going to take this down and we're going to upgrade the processor. All right, so now I have it on the test bench. And, wow, it's pretty dirty. Like I said, I haven't touched this thing for probably five years. Um, haven't opened it up, haven't blown it off, and it kind of runs. It's always in kind of standby mode, so... I get all the dust off as much as I can. I'm going to blow out my air compressor. Yeah, I love this computer. I mean, I actually, this was my main computer a long time ago, but... Yeah, I like actually regular desktops. You know, everyone swap out a video card. But, uh, alright, so let me get this thing up and clean it up. And hopefully, I'm surprised there's not more rust this. I live at the beach, so this thing will be sucking in salt air all day long through these vents right here, so. All right, well, before I get too involved in this, I should make sure it's the right processor. I've actually been burned before on eBay. <laughs> so. All right, let's see what we got. This should be an LGA 1155. It is a Core i5 668, 3.3 .3 gigahertz, 4 megahertz cache. So that's going to give me a little bit more speed, a little bit more cache, and uh, more cores. So, and I guess what the turbo boost too. So, all right, cool. This computer is pretty basic to open. There's a screw on each side of this, and it's a uh, you can either use a flathead or a T15 Torx. I don't think I need to take off the air, so the CPU and memory should be on this side. I should push up and back. Can you pop right like that? Yeah. Oh wow. That's it, it's been a couple of years, so I'm gonna take both sides off just to get my air compressor in there and blow it out. Alright, so there it is. That's the CPU. The RAM's under there. Solid state drives over here. And uh, one of the issues I always have here down at the beach is all the salt air, it basically uh, rusts all, usually the rest, rest of the metal right around the actual processor. So processor and the, uh, the solder usually will turn green and copper turns green here down here. So, all right, we'll get this off. Well, first I'll take the RAM cover off. That way I can see if I gotta blow that out too. All right. Alright, so it's been about five years since I've taken this thing apart, but yeah, I gotta take this top vessel off to get this down here, get these screws. Yeah, I remember it was a little bit more involved than just replacing the RAM and the hard drive. I get these off so I can pull this front bezel forward. And that should just come forward. Once I get all the screws signified, this should just pop forward. Right. Well, I'm glad I took it off some more dust in here so alright so this is basically the processor and it brings over the heat pipe over here and this is the main cooling fan here it's interesting there's a secondary fan though I don't know if that's emergency or backup or what that is or the RAM cooler but yeah that's the main processor heat sink right there so I get this thing off here 
with more screw and get the heat or the uh, shield off and okay, so the processor is a T9 but this is actually what I was talking about um, this is the external video card it's called an MXM video card and the video cards are actually easy to find on eBay but getting this heat sink there's another heat pipe that comes out and goes on onto the actual video card you can't find those anywhere they're impossible to find so I mean I would upgrade the video card a long time ago if I could have found this heat sink all right and that just pops forward like that and like I said I'm gonna thoroughly clean this stuff even more that's a thermal paste I'm gonna take this over to my air compressor and blow it out thoroughly yeah another thing too is in, in these uh, heat sinks I get a lot of this corrosion. The salt air creates corrosion on everything. Right, pop the Core i5 in there. Alright. So I'm going to go back to my compressor and blow this out here. And now let's thermal paste. Getting a lot. Let's spread out. Can I get that back on there? Alright, case is back together, so I'm going to do a, a thorough clean down the outside, but if you're new to my channel, then you probably don't realize that I'm actually an IT guy. Uh, that's what, actually what I do for a living, IT. So, yeah, I make a lot of car videos and stuff. Car, battery, whatever. Repair videos, 3D printing stuff, but IT is what I've been doing for the last 20 years. Alright. Alright, let's see if this thing fires up. I'm a little nervous there for a second. <laughs> Alright. All right, video drivers all there it goes. Yeah, since you change the processor, you change the uh, change the uh, GPU as well. Alright, there it is. Cool. Core i5. So hopefully get a couple more years out of this computer. I really like it. Perfect test bench computer. Um yeah, hopefully I can find that. One of these days I can find that heatsink on eBay. The uh, graphics processor heatsink. Then I could actually upgrade to an external graphics card. And then also an i7. Uh, the problem with this, uh, the versions of this i7, I need to get like a lower uh, wattage CPU because of the uh, power supply. But also, um, they didn't really make i7s with built-in GPUs back then. So, at least for this model. So, all right.